Hey everyone and welcome to another video. We have a very special one this time where Jack is gonna just catch me up, introduce me to some of these new projects that are happening. It feels like there's a new one every single day. So last week we went over Endless Siege, uh, Clashdome.io, shout out to Clashdome. That's a really enjoyable game and you'll definitely be seeing us playing more of that as well. But today, Jack, why don't you tell me what it is we're gonna be chatting about? Yeah, so um, we have a couple of things on the menu here now. Uh, we're gonna start with Nifty Cards. So I came across these guys on Twitter and I really, really like what they're doing. Um, then we're gonna move on to Go Pepe, uh, which is one of my personal favorites at the minute. And again, came across these guys on Twitter um, and it looks really exciting what they're doing. So we'll take you through a bit of information on that. And then we'll finish off with a few other things that maybe we'll delve into next week in more detail. Um, and then I think I, think I wanna uh, have a little competition with Adam. Uh, playing Endless Siege and I think we're gonna stake something maybe a cog or maybe a pack or something like that So yeah more to follow Okay, excellent. So yeah full disclosure. I've seen a little bit of go Pepe just on Twitter seen some of the artwork and stuff uh, Nifty cards. I don't think I've seen anything really um, okay. So give yeah. me a, give me a rundown. Yeah, so I mean uh, like I said I came across these guys on Twitter uh, nifty cards, uh, so nifty-cards.com uh, um, I have the website up here on the TV next to me so Adam can see. Uh, yeah, and basically what these guys are doing is they want to create really detailed NFTs um, and they want to uh, push them out to the market at affordable prices. Basically the way they're going to do it is they're going to have several small collections. So we'll get up, uh, we'll scroll onto the screen here now. Yeah, so uh, several small collections every year is going to be released. Um, and I mean, yeah, like Adam said, look at these cards. We'll zoom in on these as best we can. And um, there's, I assume there's names for each of these and everything. So Yeah, what's... like, so basically, they're, these uh, NFTs are created by an Indonesian artist um, who drew inspiration from Javanese culture, or sorry, Javanese mythology. Um, and, uh, like, they're just amazing, you know? Wow. Um, they'll be sold individually on Atomic Hub. Um, and for this collection, I think they're calling it Collection 1, um, there's going to be 250 mints of each on the Wax blockchain. Um, so yeah, really like what they're doing. They're, these are kind of promotional releases that they're doing uh, each day on, on Twitter. Um, and I'm following it closely because like, I just, I just like, my, I mean, look at this guy, man. Let's zoom in, on, zoom in on this as much as we can. A lot of detail has gone into this, a lot of effort. So no, yeah, I really, really impressed. appreciate that. Really impressed. And yeah. so you've actually been to Indonesia. So can you see any of the inspiration that it's drawn from? Have you seen temples or stuff that? Yeah, I mean, like you do see, uh, you know, stuff like this here. I suppose if I if I if I zoom in on this guy, you know, this sort of face painting here, um, and these sort of masks here as well. You know, I have seen kind of remnants of that on my travels through Indonesia. It's a, it's a fantastic country, but it's also so long and so diverse, um, or sorry, so large and so diverse that there's a lot of different cultures sure. in, in it, you know? Sure. Um, but again, amazing place to see. So how do I get my hands on one of these? Are they for sale yet? Okay, so they're not for sale just yet. Um, that's as far as I know. Uh, and they have released a couple of different promotional things. So did you hear about the bear? I only saw you sending me a picture of this bear, <laughs> okay. so that's the only thing. So what's the bear? So there was big hype, uh, or, or at least I thought it was big hype, about um, you know the, the guys at Nifty Cards basically doing these random drops into Telegram groups, and it was first come, first serve, click the link, um, and when you click the link, uh, basically you can claim the bear, which is, which is an NFT, um, and I'm going to show it to you now. I got a bear. Ah, very cool. Okay, yeah, so it's, 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 it's really cool. Again, zooming in on it there, loads of detail, uh, you know, which I, which I really like. And um, they also did a promotional release as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, so you could get this NFT here, so you can see the front of it there and you can see the back of it. So yeah, uh, really looking forward to what Nifty Cards have to offer. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep everyone posted as best I can. So yes. big shout out to Nifty Cards. That looks really great. So yeah, everybody check out nifty-cards.com and also you can see it on atomichub.market. Yeah. So follow them on Twitter as well, you know, the usual. This artwork is very impressive to me. So yeah, great work guys. Nifty Cards, wax on. Wax on. What else we got? So, okay, next up what we have is Go Pepe. Uh, so gopepe.io is what I have on the screen here just so I can show Adam and um, at the minute I'd have to say these these are my personal favorite you know so really yeah um, so again they're high-end collectibles but based on memes 
um, and they have their launch in seven days. So, you know, this day, next week, when we do the, the studio web show again, um, we're definitely going to tune in for that and open a couple of packs because I'm really, really excited about this one, you know. So you can see it here. Seven days, six hours, 56 minutes and 35 seconds till the launch. You heard it here first. <laughs> and we're going to be tuning in for that one, definitely. So the evolution of Pepe. Once upon a time there was a frog. His name was Pepe. According to legend, he fell into a magical pond many years ago. Since then, he's been telling stories, memes to be precise. And to be honest, we think he only found the or meme subreddit. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So yeah, a bit more information on these guys. Um, the main focus is the secondary market. Uh, burn mechanisms and ultim ultimate scarcity. Uh, so I suppose let's elaborate on that a bit because um, I was really, really interested when I first heard that. Um, so I'm, just, I'm gonna keep it here. Um, so they're introducing pack parties where you can open packs with between 10 and 50 people. Um, they're talking about trade up burns. So basically you can take five cards of a lower level, burn those five cards, they have to be the same, and then it will turn into uh, or generate the new NFT of the higher level. That's really So for example, if we just take a quick look at the, the rarity levels, we have raw, and um, so you can see it here, I'm, I'm just saying that's base level, um, uh, the magic pond, which I'm assuming would be more of like a common um, with you know 24% drop chance. Uncommon then we have Royal um, with an 8% chance of a drop. Cosmic or maybe Rare at 3.1%. Uh, Ultimate, Ultra Rare maybe. I look a little Post Malone here. Yeah. That, that was Joe Rogan <laughs> if you... Uh, and a 1% drop chance on the Ultimate and then the Artifact. So this is you know really, really high end. You know, there's only going to be, I believe, 200 of these cards in total. Um, and then obviously people are going to burn ultimate cards, five ultimate cards, and you will get an artifact card. So that's really, you know, one of the, one of the really, not, I mean, Blockchain Heroes had it where you could burn 100 cards. Um, and out of that, you would get one of five or six uh, different heroes. Um, but this, I mean, makes it a little bit more accessible for low, lower level traders or people who are just dipping their feet in the water and, um, you know, to see if this is the kind of thing they're into. So am I understanding this right then? In order to burn the cards, you have to obviously lock them up. You burn them, they're gone forever. You then get a rarer card. So is there a yeah. percentage of them locked up for these burns? So, okay. So, um, and again, I had the exact same question in my head when I was first reading about it. So let's look here. Max total supply is going to be 180,000 NFTs. Um, but 140 of them, 140,000 of them can be burned forever, oh. creating a collection of 40,000 cards, the perfect collection. Nice. So you can see here, you know, 200 ultra rare, 1800, uh, sorry, uh, 200 like, you know, gold or, you know, limited edition. Uh, 1800 ultra rare, 6000 rare, and so on and so forth, 115,000 raw, but really, really interesting. Um, and, and another feature, so let's get into packs now. There's gonna be 25,000 single packs, but get this, when you open the pack, you will have a choice uh, of picking one of four cards, okay. unknown cards. So it adds a little bit more excitement to the people who wanna just you know spend a dollar, get a pack, and then you will have, you know, you can pick whatever card you want. Um, and I hope after you've picked your card, it shows you what the other cards were and then puts them back hidden in uh, circulation somewhere ah, else. If cool. it could work like that, it'd be cool. But again, 25,000 single packs, 8,000 starter packs, um, and uh, 1,500 whale packs. That's what I like to hear. Whale packs, okay. <laughs> I ain't no whale, but I'm gonna feel like one after I buy one or two of these packs, you know? Um, so I really like the concept of the pack parties. I love the fact that these can be burned. That's yeah. really, really impressive. And I like the way it's worked into it. It's kind of gamified. Secondary markets, you can see here, so Myth Market's gonna be there, Atomic yeah, Hub, Simple Assets, Collectibles. You'll be able to get it in all the greatest places. So. Yeah. Pepe.io, it seems go that. Pepe.io. Go Pepe.io. Yeah. Apologies. Big shout out to Go Pepe. Check out Go Pepe. I can tell Jack's very excited about <laughs> it. I can't so wait. Why don't we, um, yeah, let's close this off. Next week we'll try to do another recording and maybe try to join one of these pack parties. Yeah. We'll try to get our hands on some packs and add them to our giveaway list. So we give away packs every single week and rare cogs, whatever it might be. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and check us out online. Thanks guys. So thanks for tuning in this week, everyone. Um, 
I'm glad I got the chance to give Adam a little bit of an update on everything that's going on. Uh, big shout out again to Nifty Cards. Big shout out to Go Pepe. Tune in next week for the Go Pepe pack opening. Um, hopefully we've heard a little bit more about OS2, uh, GPK OS2 by then. Uh, and I think we're going to take a look, little look at uh, Dark Country. Um, we're going to leave you now with the competition. Um, myself and Adam decided to stake a, a cog each. Um, so he got to go into my inventory and pick a cog and, and vice versa. Um, so yeah, enjoy the competition everyone. We'll explain the rules while, while we're playing. Take care everybody. Wax on. on.